Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Proverbs, the Mishle Shlomo, the Life Sayings of Solomon. And we're in chapter 19 and we're looking at verses 24 and 25. Verse 24 is something of a salutary saying. It says, Tamana seliado betzahachat gama pihu lo yeshivena, which basically means the lazy bones shoved their hand in the dish, or maybe we'd say in the pie, but doesn't even bother bringing it back to its mouth. And this is really saying that people who are greedy, uh, they just seem to just want more and more, even though they can't manage to, to take in what they've got. Greed drives people to constantly get more and more, more than they can actually cope with. So the picture here is of the, um, the, the, the lazy person, the, 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 the idol, who just is greedy and grabbing more and more, but can't actually even be bothered to bring it back to their mouth. And that's, uh, that's something that obviously the wise man is encouraging us not to be like. And then the next verse uh, is a, a similarly, quite, similarly quite salutary saying, and a saying of its time, maybe not one that we would see as being appropriate today, but it says, let's take or feti yarim, which really means give, the, give the, the, the lout a clip round the ear in a sense, give him a wallop and the, the poor thing will, will understand, the poor thing will um, wise up to what's going on. But then it says, but the but that if you rebuke, if you correct the person of understanding, he will actually gain knowledge. So in other words, um, you, you may have to work hard with the people who are not, not open to correction, but someone who's open to correction will actually improve. And when we recognize the need for correction, when someone doesn't have to be harsh with us in correction, we're going to gain from that. So the wise man is encouraging us to avoid idleness, uh, which can't even be bothered to help itself. And he's also uh, encouraging us to receive correction and rebuke, another theme that comes throughout the book of Proverbs. Have a good day.